Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Nicholas Lion Rider here for our uh, eighth episode of uh, Let's Build of the Roger Williams Park Zoo. Today, I don't have Lemur, but I do have a new guest. Uh, this is Michael, aka Raptor Jesus. How's everybody doing on this fine? Well, it's probably I don't know when this is going to be updated uh, or uploaded, but we are we are chilling at nearly 11 p.m. here, and uh, Nick has locked me in his basement and forced me to talk. So here we are, and uh, Nick's doing a lot of pavement work, as we can see here. Yes. In this wonderful zoo of a... It's more like a like a city's zoo, right? Like, it's it's all construction. Yeah, so, um, obviously, uh, you're not super familiar with Planet Zoo on paper. But... No, not really, but in the hours that I've spent seeing you play and watching your videos, I, I, I think I've, I've learned a bit about how, how at least this, this whole build is working. Yeah, so... Last episode, I mentioned how difficult the path system for this episode was going to be. And I had no idea it was going to be this bad. Oh my god, my OCD it's, is hurting because I'm seeing okay, those little, yeah. like, things where it's, the like, holes, dirt. Yeah, uh, so basically... Just, just, just use it together. <laughs> just pour so, more concrete. So this is what annoys me about Planet Zoo's system, is... Unfortunately, you're bound by either a square, uh, a square, like, you know, pavilion, or mm -hmm. you can have the paths. But what it does is it creates these little tiny holes in the pavement that'll just, you're never going to be able to patch up. So what I do later on in the video is I actually use um, a, a technique where I basically take a ceiling and paint it the exact same color as the asphalt, and then I just like cover up those things and oh, that's the technique I illusion yeah so if you look closely you notice but from far away it's not too bad but yep. as you can see here i'm uh adding because the other issue is this is the uh in the zoo the jumbo junction uh like i guess restaurant area or like you know picnic area that's and where you eat the zoo animals right <laughs> Where you, it's where you can it's a, eat. That's where they serve you the zebras. That's where you can eat next Surprise! To uh, that's where you can eat next to the elephants. But mm. basically, it's uh, the issue that presented itself here is it's slightly lower than the rest of the surrounding area. So mm. I basically had to somehow dig a small hole to try and, you know, get the pads to, like, you know, work out but and i had to like fake staircases uh as you can see here to like kind of like yeah. have the pads like work while like also being accurate to like the actual zoo but are there was... actually like staircases like this is this like a yes it's like sort of down yeah uh they're not nearly as steep as this it's only like about three steps oh it, okay it, uh but like obviously like you know i i had to like kind of sink it you know just because this was an epi uh, issue I knew I was going to have by episode one. It's mm. just the actual elevation. Like, I, the zoo map is 100% accurate top-down wise, but obviously yeah. height map wise, it's not going to be super Yeah, accurate, I mean, that's so. pretty much impossible, even if you have been to the zoo, to really, like, exactly get. Exactly. Because it's also based on, like, the height of the person. Like, like it might be less steep for you, but, like... Exactly. Yeah. Your, like your, your a small, version a, of steep is different than like other a small child or version. something. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so this is another thing is I'm trying to put in the um the like concession stalls like the uh this is a coffee shop and mm -hmm. uh there's like a soda shop and a burger shop. Oh, these guys are just right to work. But like you know, obviously getting the path to line up with the building and the the, the building with the like shot it was just such a pain and it just like as you, it's just not lining up and i'm getting yeah, I'm so like oh there he goes i'm <laughs> getting goes so the... frustrated with this entire building <laughs> and the other thing is on top of messing with the building and the paths and the concession i'm also messing with the terrain because this is on a lake yeah so the game doesn't like it if you try to mess with paths and terrain and so this is on a hill next to water with concession stands, a big pavilion or whatever that isn't going to be perfectly symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Connected to a long, narrow path uh, that you already built. Like, you know, connected to where I had, like, the Red River Hogs and the main paths and stuff. So, 
like it's just this had to be the worst episode construction wise in terms of like actually building yeah yeah this is, this is uh not to spoil ahead this is the elephant episode correct yes so i do eventually get to the elephant <laughs> we will get to the elephants oh uh, i don't know these elephants look a little strange it's like they're very stoic and wooden and not yeah. alive uh so yeah like basically uh oh this little building is a dunkin donuts uh, I should mention that it's a very important, uh, po important staple of uh, Rhode Island. Uh, our Dunkin' Donuts are uh, very sacred here, and so even you our know America runs happen. on Dunkin'. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, it's it's basically the Rhode Island Embassy. Like there's a there's like, <laughs> there's like twenty like Dunkin' Donuts that like you know every street in the like in this state. It's crazy. This video is not sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts, but it it should be. Let's be honest. <laughs> Come on, Dunkin'. Come on. Um, I've never had Dunkin' Donuts, but... You've never had it? Like, that's... No. That's crazy. I mean, I'm not that much of a coffee person anyways. So. I mean, no, it, well, it's just crazy for me just because, like, it's, you know... It's so, I'll get a donut. It's so popular I mean, around here. It's not that it's, like, even that good, either. Like, <laughs> like most people agree just, that it's... I would rather get, like, Tim Hortons. So. Oh, we don't have Tim Hortons. We have exclusively... We have exclusively Cumberland Farms and Dunkin' Donuts and nothing else. You can't even find a Starbucks or anything. Like it's just, jeez, it's life is rough out there in the island. But no one minds it though. No one minds because everyone is such devoted Dunkin' Donuts fans. It's like it's like a cult. Oh yeah. Like as soon as as soon as you leave the Dunkin' Donuts circle, you just get shunned by the society of Rhode Island. Oh yeah, it's insane. So, uh, basically, back on topic. Uh, so I'm eventually getting around to, like, finishing up the, uh, main concession thing. They recently changed the building's name. It used to be, like, Serengeti, like, snacks or something. Now it's called Tuskers, which kind of makes sense since it's, like, next to the elephants. Like, so... Yeah, I don't mean to be that guy, but is it supposed to be Tuskers with an apostrophe S? No. They just... <laughs> so it's just, like, I mean, it should be, tuskers? it should be, should be, oh, yes, okay. but it should be. But, but it's not actually? Yeah, I have no idea. It's just a building that is made up of many tusk. Yeah, uh, oh, so this is interesting. So, you know how I mentioned that, like, this entire thing is on a lake? So yeah. the back half of this extension is actually a dock. <laughs> so it's actually, like... Really? Yeah, so it's, like, actually kind of man-made, and, like, it's... Wood <laughs> it's it's concrete up, like, on the land portion, but then it turns into wood uh, as you yeah. get to, like, the back uh, where the other picnic things are. So hmm. um, I'm just lining everything up again. I'm using, like, those pillars that I made last episode. They're actually a little outdated from what the zoo has now, but I don't know if I'm going to bother fixing it like they changed the color what do they look like now uh it's kind of similar they're basically like uh they're still poles but like they have like a little like uh i don't even know what you would call it like a box or something at the bottom with like some floral like zebra print design oh, okay. I, I can pull up a picture it's nothing super crazy but um meanwhile it's just like this like elaborate art piece and there's like intricate details yeah i put it this way it's something <laughs> so elaborate on paper that i couldn't do realistically that i wouldn't yeah. bother uh yeah for now the shotgun shell poles will work yes so while i'm uh while i'm talking about intricate stuff that i'm not going to get totally accurate uh, I'm finishing up the Maasai Market that I, uh, the gift shop that I did last episode, or began last episode. So, I have since changed the, uh, layout of it. So, uh, as I mentioned last episode, the actual inside is kind of like an octagon open-ended gift shop. Where you basically, it's just like a, like a gazebo. You just walk inside and there's like toys and stuff and, uh, like, you know, little the snacks and whatever that you can get. Yep. But uh, to get that as close as I could in game while keeping it as a concession stand and stuff, I basically boarded off the back corner of it to be the concession stand and then have the rest as just kind of an open area. And I throw in a couple of small decorations and stuff. And on the side, it has a few like posters and that sort of thing. Um, but obviously, like I can't get it perfectly to how it's supposed to be on the inside so i made a few kind of creative liberties here i had like a elephant uh like stand. oh that looks cool yeah so i had like is a that just in the wait did you make that or is that just in the game that's just in the game <laughs> so that looks pretty cool so i'm what i'm doing right now is trying to make the maasai market sign so the actual sign i can pull up a picture again 
it has uh, like six elephants. They're all like, you know, uh, big elephant, little elephant, big elephant, little elephant. And it just says Masai Market. Now, gotcha. it's a small sign. So unfortunately, to eventually get the uh, size right, I did have to get rid of the elephants that I started. Like, as, like you probably just saw. I started yeah. making the elephant design, but it was just way too big. So I had to kind of like concede and be like, hmm, how do I get the kind of idea? Right? Yeah, like <laughs> as you can see, like it's just not gonna work out. Mm. So oh, it's like that small. Oh, oh yeah. it's it's I mean, very it's very tiny. Uh, like obviously, like the elephants would have to be like minuscule. Like you wouldn't even really be able to see them. Exactly. So what I did was instead of elephants, I eventually um, I basically make just black spheres and kind of sink them in like so that they're kind it's of it's basically just an elephant yeah well <laughs> yeah like yeah like you can see me here because yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to think of like something i can get to like represent them while also... they kind of look like eyeballs when they're like bulged out <laughs> yeah so like i said the actual thing you know it's got elephants it has it. elephants but is like... there no way to like shrink the elephant thing mm -hmm. that you were using or no it was just like Unfortunately, oh, it, it's a it's a common thing that people want is shrinking pl like yeah some, yeah. Planet like, Zoo has every other game development tool at your disposal. You can rotate, you can transform everything. Like you know, you can move stuff. You can't scale though, and that's like a, a that thing that people because obviously like it's a big thing that people would want because you could you know make a miniature statue and then you know yeah. like you know those elephant statues that I was playing with. I could have shrunk those down and then made those like into little statues that I could put as a thing yeah. in a gift shop, if I had that shrinking ability. Right. But um, unfortunately, I just couldn't. So here, um, like I said, I originally I I basically cheated the actual layout of the paths and stuff and kind of used that ceiling idea to like yeah to i mean it basically looks per like what it should look like yeah like all yeah stuff. i yeah i cover i covered up the the paths so internally they're still using the path system but on the surface don't tell anybody don't uh, tell anybody it's a secret it's totally not a <laughs> ceiling that we put on the ground it's it's fine yeah but on the surface that's you know what it looks like now what's funny is it looks okay right now right yeah Later on, I literally have to tear apart every single path I make in this episode, and off camera, I fixed everything. I made, oh. I got, because at one point in this episode, we're getting like close to when I'm eventually about to give up. But I basically, uh, I essentially this give. This is Nick's breaking point. Everyone. I give up on the paths, and I'm like, I'm just not gonna get it right now while I'm making the episode. So, you know what? I'm, you know, I'm tossing, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm done. This is right now. Nick is just stopping, and he's like contemplating. Yes. He's sped up so, so fast. This is like an hour passing of. Nick oh, just, this like, isn't an hour. This life. is literally about a five-hour process. Oh, jeez. This is five hours of work, and like I said, I would later go on to do another five hours <laughs> off camera, uh, fixing God it. Damn. But. This is the fun part because I finally get to work on the elephant enclosure. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I told, I thought this was the the restaurant episode. I, I, I wow, this is this is I gonna know. be so underwhelming. I was so excited by the restaurant that I totally forgot about the the animal that we're gonna be talking. So about. the elephants are actually really like they have a really nice enclosure. <laughs> like as much of an annoying you know process as the Jumbo Junction is to build, the actual like elephant enclosure looks really nice. Um, hmm. So actually, I should mention. So basically, the uh, area you're looking at right now overlooks the water area, which is like, like I said, really nice. They have a nice waterfall. There's like, you know, a bunch of rock work, and so yeah. that area off camera, I would later go and fix. I would add the. Um, it's actually made out of wood. Like there's like wooden planks and stuff instead of like concrete. So I, I cover that up uh, off camera. But overall, like I think it, like. Eventually, like it actually looks really nice. So, I'm also on Google Earth right now, and I'm basically looking at the top-down view of the zoo's map to like see like where I'm getting the proportions wrong on the exhibit layout. So that's where I'm making like the kind of like uh, change to the fence and stuff. But by doing that, as you can see, I mess up the path again. <laughs> So this is just not your day. No, I'm just in like, you know, 
here I have just those holes that I'm making, and then I found out that, like, you know, I can't cover up this path because the terrain is uneven, and then it's trying to add in uh, railings and stuff because it thinks it's an elevated platform. It's... Yeah, like, in my mind, I'm just thinking, like, the paintbrush tool on Photoshop yes, or something. Yes, I just, want like, that paint so... Just, right in. Just, like, I want... Fill it listen, in. I, like, I get Planet Zoo isn't Zoo Tycoon, but yeah. Zoo Tycoon had the path system down to a science. It seems it like was a just, you just thing to add, no? Because like... it's just a thing of, like, you know, if I have, you know, a path here and a path here, and there's a little tiny hole, I should just be able to click over it, and then it turns into a path. You know what I mean? Or just, like, when it has, like, two paths that sort of, like, create, like, a hole in the middle, they just kind of, like, flatten it. Like, they just kind of fill it up automatically. Yeah. So, Something yeah. like that. So you can see me right now using that process I did down below of, like, you know, like, kind of covering up the path. Like, yeah. uh, like... <laughs> With the totally not ceiling that we're using. Uh, I also added the bathroom. I don't know if I added that last... Very episode. important. Very yeah. integral. We there's needed a, the bathroom. Where bathroom. would our patron? Where would our patrons go to defecate if not the bathroom? Yeah, so I added a, a little bathroom there. I, I I don't know why I forgot it like last episode, or maybe I didn't but, and I just had to redo it or something. But so here's now the where I get annoyed, right? So now mm. by changing the path all the way over there, I now have to change the path by the red river hogs. So now I'm actually oh going back and needing to adjust the path system from episodes ago. Like, I think at one point I have to go all the way back to the out ads, like off camera. Oh, oh. It's that, the, what even episode was that? That was a long that was, time ago. That was three, three episodes ago. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it's bad. <laughs> and it's like a lifetime ago. That's what I was saying about, like, uh, just the path system is just so annoying. And I want, I want to like it because it's good on for some things but other things it's just absolutely atrocious for <laughs> so like as you can see i have just like these holes and stuff and that's why i just i gave up i gave up like in the short term because i'm like i'm not going to be able to do this on camera i'm gonna right. have to just take some time and just uh you know do something i enjoy so i did some nice rock work and i made the, <laughs> i made a nice this little pride rock right this is uh, I made where a... simba got baptized this... by the monkey <laughs> This is uh, this is a nice little waterfall section, so I get to uh, oh. I get to touch it up. Uh, so that back area is also where the elephant house will go. I'm gonna do that in two episodes, uh, or uh, two episodes from now. The next episode I'm gonna do the giraffes, and then uh, this episode is obviously the elephants, and then the episode after that I'm gonna do the interior because that's both of their it, like they share a house basically yeah so i'm gonna do that all in its own episode so i don't do it in this episode but it will come it's not just gonna be an empty plot of land that makes no sense um but right now i'm messing around with some of the effects so i'm getting a nice uh waterfall i uh i was trying to mess around because it's kind of a really big waterfall in real life it's kind of like a you know a little yeah little yeah right now it just kind of looks like sprinklers yeah and like so it it's fine I, I i think i might want to touch it up again it's you know it's also sped up so obviously it's gonna look a little weird. yeah yeah but um i'm just uh touching it up a little bit i'm messing around with the terrain uh adding a little bit there's like a little mud puddle uh, uh elephants like their mud yeah and i'm just adjusting like some of the little things like i said from google earth so there's the mud puddle i would later uh cover up the sides of it so you don't see the wood uh so it just looks like an actual puddle and I'm adding in some toys, and they have uh, a little bit of rock work and that sort of thing. So Yeah, and they get an Xbox, and <laughs> TV, and Netflix for free. Yeah, they, they live a good life, the elephants at the Roger Williams Zoo. Yes. Uh, so I should probably talk about the elephants at the at the zoo, because there's three of them. So there's uh, three, three sisters. There's uh, Kate, Ginny, and Alice. Uh, Alice is the youngest, and she's also the smallest. Uh, she, she's always up to no good. Uh, so I have, there is some drama about the elephants, believe it or not. Oh, really? Oh, oh yeah. I, I was just making a meme. Do tell. Uh, so basically, uh, Kate and Ginny are the two older, uh, older ones. Ginny is the matriarch, and Kate is the biggest. So ba basically, oh. Alice is the youngest, Kate is the matriarch, or, uh, Ginny is the matriarch, Kate is the biggest. Okay. And, uh, Kate, uh, Kate would sometimes hang out with Alice, Mm -hmm. And uh, that made Ginny jealous. So she doesn't uh, like that. So, no, not at all. Uh, Why would she? So basically, Ginny, uh, Ginny once uh, kind of attacked 
Alice. <laughs> Uh, for, uh, and basically chased her from one end of the exhibit to the other. And ever, oh si ever since, because I learned this from a zookeeper, and like, it explained a lot, because uh, when when my girlfriend and I like go to the zoo, like uh, she's always been like, yeah, why is Alice like on her own a lot? Uh, it's because of that. Because uh, <laughs> uh, ever since, like Jenny basically attacked her because she was jealous. Um, so the three of them, when they're together, are fine, but like if uh, if Alice gets too close to... <laughs> To Kate, uh, J J and Jenny starts throwing hands. Yep. Uh, oh, I should mention this because I actually wanted to talk about this. So, uh, the elephants obviously have this kind of like metal fence, uh, to enter into their housing area slash their holding area. And yeah. I, I wanted to custom build it, so I basically used a bunch of the metal, uh, pipe pieces to like kind of make this like industrial elephant wall that, like, yeah, yeah, that's that, pretty cool. Yeah. And, like, it's basically just where, like, their holding area is in the back. But I actually, like, thought it was really cool. And, like, I'm surprised the game didn't have anything like this. Because uh, it's pretty common for, like, holding, especially, like, big African elephants and that sort of thing. Um, but, yeah, that's why I always say, Roger Williams, you will never see an elephant attack. Because they literally have, or, like, a rampage. Because there's literally, like, five sets of fences keeping guests protected. Like... <laughs> So you have the water, the elephant fence, there's a wooden fence, the metal fence, like, a little yeah, stick Yeah, if you get fence. attacked by the elephant at the Roger Williams Zoo, it's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is this is an official uh, judgment call by the Roger Williams Zoo. Yeah, so, uh, basically, I, I just make that wall uh, as a reference point for where the elephant house will be. I, uh, I make a temporary opaque fence to show, like, that's where the, you know, entrance will be. Like, where the elephants, like, go in for, like, you know, the if it's cold out or like when they're taking a bath or whatever yeah um and so uh i would go back and I, I touch up a little bit of the thing but i think soon is when i actually bring in the elephants i uh i spawn them in just to see like where they can roam around and that sort of thing and definitely not fight each other uh no like i said for the most part the elephants are chill like they're they're they've all you know known each other you know their whole lives like they're they're good but i guess i guess for some reason they got jealous like recently <laughs> this is like i said this is like kind of a recent thing I, I i don't know like what this you know did but i don't know can't wait for to find um, out where this story goes next yeah so, uh, I also wanted to mention this. So, one of the toys that uh, Planet Zoo doesn't have, but is like kind of a big thing that they love to play with, is they have a, a tire on a chain at the zoo. Oh. So, I wanted to make the tire. <laughs> uh, oh. oh. So, I yeah. so, I basically, uh, I use the, uh, what's it, uh, one of the primitive uh, geometry pieces. I use just like a cylinder, and then I'm basically going around and adding like the little tire rivets and stuff. You, um, I tried being clever about it and like using like you know like oh if I just do half of it or a quarter of it I can just copy around. I get lazy here and I was like yeah it's not working out I'm just gonna redo everything <laughs> I'm just gonna do it manually. And are they supposed to be green like that or no no I color? or that's just the I, I changed the color in a minute like okay. you can see right here like I just I was gonna say what kind there, of tires there, are you buying yeah there we go. But yeah, see, now it looks like a tire. <laughs> that actually is pretty impressive. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. I had the uh, the Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> D. <laughs> um, or now America I guess America runs on Dunkin'. Yeah, now it's just Dunkin'. They they changed the name. It's not Dunkin' Donuts anymore. But uh, I'm I'm still gonna call it Dunkin' Donuts until. You know, I think that they will never force us out of that. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know why they even bother changing their name. <laughs> like. As far as I'm concerned, it's Dunkin' Donuts, and since they don't want me to call it that, I'm only going to call it that. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just uh, cleaning up the little pavilion a little bit. Uh, off camera, like I said, I change a, a little little piece of uh, some of this. Um, and I, I want to modify that building too that the Dunkin' Donuts is in. It's not totally yeah. right. But here we go. So this is when I'm actually trying to uh, spawn in the elephants. So in the final uh, final exhibit, once I have the interior done, I'm going to have the elephants uh, be brought in from inside the building. But right now, I basically make a little temporary area where they can enter from, uh, which is just, that's why I dropped the zoo trade center in and stuff. Uh, I checked the elephants couldn't get past the uh, fence, so I just basically made that wider. Now they can access uh -huh. everything. 
Uh, and they, they got a little soccer ball. They, oh, look at him go. Yeah, they, they were normally able to escape out of that. <laughs> so that's why I'm adding the rocks, which I had to do anyway. Like the, uh, but yeah, they were om uh, almost ready to escape. But that's pretty much it. So uh, here are the render shots. Uh, and basically, um, that's it for this episode. So uh, stay tuned. Next time, we're going to be working on the Maasai Giraffe exhibit. And uh, I don't know if Michael will be here. Maybe Lemur will return. Uh, but stay tuned. Uh, I'm really excited. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.